Alrighty, just got back from a race week 2023. Didn't do very well. Nothing really to write home about there. But that's actually a good thing because the week before I had to leave, I hit a raccoon. I'll show you that now. So there I was, driving along, minding my own business, when BAM! Bumper cover broken, condenser and radiator bent, them raccoons are solid. So there's lots of bugs there, but we did end up replacing the uh, AC condenser before we left. That came in the mail, and then the radiator showed up. Literally about an hour before I was supposed to leave, so we didn't quite get that replaced, but that's going to be our job today. I think the most convenient time to upgrade parts is when the old parts are broken or worn. Enter this aluminum three-row radiator. Good for at least 2.3 horsepower. Shiny. And yes, it's shiny too. First thing we'll do is drain the radiator by twisting this here. Where are you gonna drip from? Ah. Make sure we can uh, catch it in our vat here. So we'll let that drain for a while. Next step is to remove this top radiator cover. There's six push tabs that hold it in place. Then we'll remove the two bolts for the expansion tank and fold it out of the way. There's also one bolt for the power steering reservoir and that'll fit right over there. For the fan shroud, there are one bolt here and one bolt on the other side, and then this electrical connector, and then the whole thing should just kind of slide up and out in those bottom tabs, kind of down in there. There are two nuts that hold the condenser to the radiator. Then the condenser slides off the studs and pops out of the top mounts. It'll just hang from the hoses still connected to it. The condenser studs will have to be transferred to the new radiator. Removing them now will make it easier to take the radiator out. Disconnect the upper and lower radiator hoses with a set of pliers, sliding the clamp back onto the hose. There may still be some coolant inside these hoses. You've been warned. There are two bolts for each of the upper radiator mounts. Remove them and the mount pieces can be set off to the side. And now the radiator can be wiggled up and out of the engine bay. You will have to transfer over the top of the condenser mounts on both sides and also the studs for the lower condenser mounts, one we pulled out already to the new uh, radiator. Carefully slide the new radiator into the engine bay as to not damage any of the fins on the face. The driver's side top condenser mount may need to come off then be reinstalled once the radiator is in place. Make sure the radiator is properly seated in the lower mounts, then reconnect all of the hoses, the condenser fan shroud, expansion tank, and power steering reservoir. Reinstall the upper radiator mounts. Finally, fill up the system with new coolant, then take a test drive to bleed the system of any air. Double check the coolant level and top off if needed. You don't need to see my test drive. 
How about a slow pass from the Race Week live feed? This guy followed along with the whole race week event. The final day at Bandemir, he was allowed to make a pass. Thank you. 